Hurst Castle was built between 1541 and 1544 by Henry VIII as part of a chain of artillery fortresses protecting key ports and landing places around southern England. The castle guarded the Needles Passage leading to the Solent, the port of Southampton and the growing naval base at Portsmouth. Hurst was also occasionally used as a prison, most famously when Charles I was held captive here in 1648. It was greatly modernised in the 19th century when it formed a key fortress protecting one of the world's most heavily defended areas. Before 1541, the area around Hearst Castle was largely uninhabited. But the fear of invasion from England's United Catholic neighbours forced the building of a series of permanent artillery defences to protect important sites. After completion in 1544, fear of invasion had largely subsided. But the castle was armed with about 20 guns and for the rest of the 16th century, life was uneventful. The castle remained little changed from 1544 until the outbreak of war with France in 1793. In peacetime, castle life was uneventful. The castle was not always in good repair. Some postings could be quite lengthy. One gunner served for 37 years from 1625 and another served 17 years from 1800. There was some action in the form of smugglers and during the Civil War, 1642 to 1651, where the castle was held for Parliament but never attacked. Charles I was held at Hurst briefly in 1648 and from 1700 Hurst served as a prison for people of the Catholic faith. At the outbreak of war in 1793, Britain's coastal fortresses saw rapid strengthening. The castle was rearmed and enlarged, but Hearst guns never saw action, and in 1809 it was turned into a temporary military hospital. In the early 1850s, further fear of France's intentions meant that Hearst was called on again. It was further fortified with extra arms and defences. But works had hardly finished before technical advances in weaponry meant that improvements were obsolete. In 1859, a Royal Commission realised the coastal defences across the south needed strengthening. Hearst was enlarged to something what we see today. The importance of Hearst's position saw extra rearmament to protect the western entrance to the Solent. Hearst remained in service until 1956, in which time it came into the care of the Ministry of Works, the predecessor of English heritage. <laughs>